Ruta, the second MC and the one who became Sadhguru of freaking Gojo. Ruta was made a special grade as soon as his career began and the reason for this was Rika. Gojo gave Ruta his iconic katana as it acted as a suitable vessel to help stabilize such ridiculous power where he even achieved the black flash. However, Rika is a bit of everything for Ruta. Not only is she a formidably strong person spirit. So much so that Ghetto stated his plans of succeeding to eradicate monkeys would be raised from 20 to 30 percent all the way up to 99 percent should he get his hands on Rika. Meaning she was so strong it was worth initiating an entire war. This is later confirmed when Yuta stated that Rika was an absolute necessity to deal with Kenjaku's rampaging her spirit outbreak even if it was on the level of Shibuya which released 10 million spirits. So no wonder she has the rank of queen as that number is just so mind boggling to even comprehend. Another reason why Satoru Gojo thinks the rating system is pointless is because the evolution and power of curses have rapidly increased in recent times. This is due to Sukuna's fingers resurfacing, his birth that disrupted the balance and other things such as the modern society producing more negative energy. But you see, even though that's the case, Yuta, just like the others on the list I've explained so far, demolished special grades with ease and before his introduction in Shibuya, we are told by Mark that Yuta attended the Goodwill event the year prior to Yuji and in that event, Yuta won by a landslide, apparently a one-sided affair. Eventually, Yuta returned in chapter 142 and it was insane as he killed Yuji and defeated Choso with a single punch without having to use his copy technique or full power. Yuji admits that although he will reinforce his physically gifted body with curse energy making it like steel, Yuta will make him mince meat and Rika is far too strong for him to even move. This is crazy because this is before the multiple power ups that occur for every sorcerer. As later on, Sukuna opted to grab Yuta's sword with a series of slashes opposed to actively holding it knowing what it could achieve and the damage it could do. And then we saw him decapitate Kenjaku in a single blow. Like I don't think people realize how overpowered that is. We have to keep in mind that people on this caliber have such reinforced curse energy that pressing their body would require a lot of strength equal to a special grade. In chapter 203, Kenjaku states that even low grade curse spirits being enhanced by his curse energy could take out grade 1 sorcerers with ease. Kosso's piercing blood, supernova and more were all a joke for someone on their power level where Kenjaku straight up tells him the speed and power of that attack is below par to even hurt him. Yet then comes Yuki with her technique and a single punch that rips off his arm. This puts into perspective even more how strong Maki, Yuji, Yuta, Hikari and all the others truly are to damage these monsters and why they are making the ranking system obsolete as Gojo said. So we move forward where we witness Yuta kill special grades in chapter 175 without breaking a sweat. The main reason for this is that Yuta has extremely high curse energy reserves equal to half of Sukuna at 20 fingers making him have the second most in the entire manga across 1000 years. In fact Yuta is the most blessed in terms of genetics being born a descendant of Sugawara no Michizane and the Sugawara clan. This makes Yuta extremely strong as Gojo confirmed 80% of genetics plays a role in your strength. However, we see a even 
bigger display of Yuta's beyond special grade abilities during the Cunning game. Rika is an arsenal of curse techniques and curse energy for him. In chapter 177, Yuta's opponents noticed that after non-stop RCT and intense fighting, he had taken a lot of damage and his so-called boundless energy was running out. At this crucial moment, Yuta pulled the ring he had received from Rika Orimoto in their childhood. The ring served as a temporary connection for 5 minutes to her complete form. Before passing away, Rika left her cursed spirit to serve as storage as well as leaving a will to always protect Yuta. This temporary connection is insane because it completely restores Yuta's lost curse energy and grants him access to a vast number of copied curse techniques. Mind you, he can replicate them without restrictions or even binding valves. All he needs to do is make Rika devour some body part of the person he would like to copy. But the thing is, Yuta can even hone these copy techniques even further and beyond to reach his special grade status. Such as not needing a megaphone to use Inomaki's cursed speech in chapter 178. Before, in volume 0, he would use a megaphone. Now we witness in the fight against Ryu, whom has the great his curse energy output in the Kalin game, which even Sukuna acknowledged later on as the highest defense since he had to touch him to dismantle, but despite that insane output, even Ryu claimed that attacking Yuta is akin to knocking against a massive water tank. He eventually loses due to more copy techniques that outmaneuvered him, which is the perfect time for me to list them as they are so strong that Sukuna himself struggled. So far, we have seen her speech, Shikigami using Drub's technique, Sky manipulation with the thin icebreaker, Angel's technique nullification and Jacob's ladder, Yucha sight from Bernard, Shrine thanks to eating Sukuna's finger and then Kinjaku's brain transplant. However, to take Yuta's power level a step further, how can we not mention his domain as it's a contender for the number one spot as the absolute best. He gains a limited usage of his copy techniques in a field of katana that will possess them at random. He is unaware of which curse technique is in the katana until he grabs it. But due to training with Gojo in the one month time skip confirmed in chapter 262, Yuta achieved a feat higher than his sensei. What's that you may ask? Well, it's to target a single person in his domain with the sure hit effect of his choice. Against Sukuna, it was Angel's technique to nullify his power and Jacob's ladder, as it ensures that any curse will be extinguished without exception, including a special grade curse object such as Sukuna and the prison realm. It is such a refined and well constructed domain barrier that Sukuna had to complement them and then ask how they did it. Where, of course, Yuta said they cheated as they used Ui Ui's soul swap technique. Yuta's selective domain show hit effect is even more OP.
But I got to just to scale him a bit higher, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just to take his merit a wee higher, Gojo was unconscious when he received the world reality cutting slash. However, Yuta admitted that the only reason he wasn't in comparison to Gojo was because of Rika, where he then conducted another huge feat of finishing the operation of brain swapping by using RCT at full throttle. I mean, without such proficiency, this final plan to take over over Gojo's body would not even be possible and Yuji choosing to soul swap with Yuta to learn RCT for himself wouldn't have even occurred. Essentially, Yuta is the strongest sorcerer of the present even though it came at the cost of his humanity. Now to enjoy more peak fiction, why not find out about Rimuru and how he's the strongest anime character probably ever created?